Hey, what's going on guys? We Flatten here with a brand new video today. Today we're going to be talking about the Lizard Greatsword and how to get it with ease. We're going to be starting off from the Temple Town Rune Site of Grace, and we're going to be heading straight north. When we are heading straight north, we're going to be sticking to our left hand side the entire way through. If there is a uh, cave or a mountain wall beside us, we are going to be hugging that left side the entire way through. Hiding behind these deaf birds over here, grave birds, and continuously hugging the left side the entire way through. There's going to be a ton of enemies over here, but make sure that uh, you just keep on to this left side and all should be good. There's a site of grace up there if you do want to get that site of grace. It's on that uh, cliff side there. If you want to shorten this a little bit more. You don't want to take fall damage as well. You don't have to jump down that uh, ledge, by the way. You can just take the uh, just take the trail through. Keeping in mind that there are going to be a couple more enemies around there. A few scorpions, few flying enemies. Ignore them all. Keep on down the left side, and eventually you're going to come across a spot in this river over here where there's going to be a bunch of tombstones. Bunch of coffins, bunch of tombstones. And there they are here. You go right down the middle of them. And at the very end, you're going to be entering the Scorpion River Catacomb. This is where we want to be. Inside Scorpion River Catacombs, we're going to go all the way down to the very bottom. And the Lizard Great Sword is going to be dropping off the lizards in here. Ironic. The enemy that we are looking for... It's not this guy, but it's the guy on the other side. Clear that guy really quick. And... The very first enemy that pops up here is going to be this guy here. These enemies are the uh, stone lizards. The big axe that he has in his hand is actually the lizard great sword. Uh, you can go ahead and farm a bunch of them if you want. There are a ton in this area. However, um, I would just farm this one because it's pretty easy to get to and from just from the side of grace. Keep it in mind that it is a uh, corpse drop that you have to kill uh, for. So having a high arcane score uh, with mine being at an 80, um, there's also the Silver Mask here, and also the Outer God Heirloom that can increase your Arcane even further. There are also consumables that will increase your Arcane beyond the limit that uh, is the maximum. I am going to show a clip to show the uh, Lizard Greatsword dropping off of this enemy. He says, armor, that's the armor set. Uh, I guess White Mask is this. Oh, I got the Lizard Great Sword. And now that we are back, this is the Lizard Great Sword here. It has a D Strength, D Dexterity, with a 12 Strength and 14 Dexterity requirement to hold. It is a Lizard Tail, which is actually super cool looking. And this is its light attack here. And this is its heavy attack. It's a thrust forward. And it has um, a ability called Stamp Upward Cut. It's kind of like the Fire Knight's Greatsword, but a mini version of it. That's what it looks like there. You're going to go ahead and activate your skill button, stomp down, and you have to follow up with a heavy attack to do the uppercut swing. To be able to knock an enemy up into the air and usually flat on its ass. Uh, it's a pretty neat great sword. Nothing special by any means, but if you're looking for all the new items, this is one of them to obtain. I will see you guys in the next video. My name is Beef Flattened. I'm signing on out of here. Take care all. Laters.